Hi. Hey. So. Hi. I'm not really sure about today's live. Why not? What's because that? I usually go for good food, not. Oh. So you're gonna hate on this. So if you guys haven't heard, uh, Mr. of Mr. Beast. I love Mr. Beast. He is uh, one of YouTube's biggest stars. Yeah. And he does really crazy stunts. Like uh, last one to stop touching this car wins in the Lamborghini. Wins a Lamborghini, or like he will buy a whole store and give away all the stuff inside of it for free. How's it going, Atlanta? So his next crazy idea is Mr. Beast Burger. He's doing ghost kitchens now. Mr. Beast Burger. It's flipped. Everyone can read flipped now. Yes. On an iPhone era. We're all talented. And he opened up like 500 locations around the nation, right? Yeah, yeah. There's like five places you can order from in Atlanta. It's all delivery or pickup, ghost kitchen stuff. Um, it's kind of the new thing in food is all this, this ghost kitchen movement. Yeah. And uh, if you're a fan of Mr. Beast on YouTube, he named all of his burgers after his buddies who were on his videos with him. We've got Chandler style burgers here. I love Chandler. We got Beast style. And his latest thing is a collaboration with another YouTube creator named Dream, who does Minecraft videos. And they made a Dream uh -huh. burger. So and yeah. we have a Chris Cup. And we got a Chris Cup. That's right. Is anybody following us? Like, do, does anybody know who Mr. Beast is? Oh, I love Mr. Beast. This is a total mystery to you guys. You're like, who the hell are these guys talking about? Uh, either way, we're going to dig into Mr. Beast Burgers right now. I'm going to start with the Chandler style. You Which should do the Dream or the Beast. I'll do the Beast. You're going to do a Beast? All right. So the Chandler style is pretty much a straightforward, classic, plain cheeseburger. Yours is going to be much prettier to show off. Why don't you show yours off? Really? Well, I mean, I don't know. Well, it's a double patty cheeseburger. Okay. That has a dangling onion on it. It looks good. It looks decent. I mean, it looks the good on camera. The cheese is melty in it for sure. It looks good on camera. Look at that. Here's the, here's just the plain guy. Here's the plain guy. That's some good cheese coverage right there. You see all his little nooks and crannies? Can I have a french fry? Yeah. Come on, come on, steak. You can come in and have a french fry, okay? Guys, you might have heard of him. He's Steak Shapiro. He has no idea who Mr. Beast is. That's not true. <laughs> Just because I was getting educated by Kyle. No, I don't want to cut you off. Yeah. So this is a ghost kitchen steak. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I love crypto cut fries. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's not bad. What do you think? First bite of the burger. Here's the steak. Have one. Mm -hmm. First bite of the burger. What do you think? No, nothing. Silence. All right, I'm gonna. Mm. It's good double. I mean, that's a solid amount of meat. You know what it tastes like? Five Guys. This is a Five Guys burger. It tastes just like Five Guys. They wrap it in the foil. The bread kind of gets soft around the meat. So somebody's saying where? It's a ghost kitchen. Just Google Mr. Beast. Come on, man. Steak grab your burger, though. <gasps> I'm just kidding. I honestly, no, no, no. I honestly was thinking, I was like, I'm going to share the burger with steak. You want to cut it? You got a knife? Yeah, let me cut it. Grab a knife. It's we have like, a seat for her over there? Yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll move this out of here. So where's the mother of the people thing? watching know about Mr. Beast? I don't think, I mean, we've asked people, but I'm not really sure. Number one YouTuber in the world? Yeah. That's what Kyle just said. Yeah. Yes. He is. He's a big, big He goes to a restaurant Explain. and orders a cup of water and then tips $5,000. Yeah, he does crazy stuff. No like joke. Yes. Yeah. Seriously. He orders a pizza and then once the guy comes with the pizza, they give him the house. What do you, yeah. mean, what do you mean they give him the house? Like, like literally, they give them give him a to the house to the house. How's it work? Go. In the entire the delivery guy, where he's he does dropping like the surprise pizza. and delight shit. Yeah, stuff. He gives them. <laughs> he, 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 gives okay. he gives them a house. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. All of his stuff is like I don't know what category you'd say, but like stunt, like yeah. you know everything is like filmed and it's like a stunt, like a reaction to get people's reaction. So he, he he's been making videos for like ten years, and for five years he was making little Minecraft videos that nobody watched. Yeah. Um. And then he made one video where he was going to read the dictionary for 24 hours. 
And all of a sudden, he just started getting a ton of views just from doing that stupid stunt. So he took all the revenue he made on YouTube and put that into his next video to make another stunt. Mm -hmm. And the stunts keep getting bigger and bigger because he makes... And, big, and all the money comes from views? All the money comes from views. This is a right? solid product. Well, I'm sure he's making money on this now. How, did, how do you think he had, like, the, like, resources? Because these opened in, like, a bunch of cities all at once without anyone knowing that it was Dude, about when to you have, like, millions of YouTube subscribers, like... Do you think there's a brand somebody. behind them? Do you think this is five guys or being branded? Or something, no. Mm. I don't know. It's a double... Smash. Smash burger. Mm -hmm. This is a basic cheeseburger. Yeah, it's not good, it's not it's bad. Soft. Yeah, I mean, these two items don't travel well. No, that's the Burgers problem. and fries. I mean, the fries are soggy as shit. <laughs> well, they are. I mean, these... We also had issues. <laughs> yeah, right. It's it's a, a, the, the DoorDash guy brought it to the, the retirement community so next door to our office. Fries. Well, I'll put it this way. When you go to like Publix and kids are on the cart and they see a bag of apples that has Mickey Mouse on it. Mm -hmm. like, oh, they don't even eat apples. I want apples. I want apples. Like whoever likes Mr. Beast, it has their logo, it has their face, and the burger is not actually that bad. It's the burger's good. Well, I think it's, it's the question is, yeah. is this the future? Like, and like does, does, um... Ronald Acuna. Mm -hmm. I don't want it. I just, I I just had lunch. Like if Ronald <laughs> Acuna tomorrow wanted to start selling Colombian arepas or something. Right. right. So right? With his likeness on it. With his likeness on it. And and he had a partner. Mm -hmm. he, he could set it up overnight, mm -hmm. I think. So we're in Atlanta. So there was one around Atlantic Station. There's like five locations in Atlanta. So oh, really? should, pretty much wow. the whole metro area, you should be able to order one of these if you want. Yeah. Let's play a quick game. Yeah. Where did I eat lunch? <laughs> um, if anybody gets it within uh, five minutes, um, I'll give you twenty-five dollars. Wow. All right. Um, it it it's is. Also so salty. She says it's salty. It's very salty. It's so I had I just had lunch at a restaurant in Buckhead. If you ask me questions, I'll help answer them. But. You guys each get a question. It's a, I ate at a restaurant in Buckhead. You get to ask any questions. If we get it within, if anybody gets it within two or three minutes, I'll give them twenty five dollars. A restaurant in Buckhead. Yeah. Is there you one? Is there more than one location? No. Does it have a patio? Mm, yes. Is it a pretty patio? No. Mm. Red pepper taco yet? No, but a nice guess. Similar oh. culinary, similar cuisine. So you just heard, they have a patio, they're in Buckhead. It's not a pretty patio, and it's similar cuisine to Red Pepper. You guys don't say, does anybody have any questions or guesses? You have 90 seconds for $25. 90 seconds, it's in Buckhead. Farm burger. No, nope, that's not similar. That's not. That's a good one, because right on the corner from us. That's not similar to Red Pepper, though. Can I eat this? Yeah, it's their hot chicken. Anybody, so any other questions? We have 70 seconds. You want to ask another question? Um, yeah. Is it, you said it's only one location? Yep. Uh, hmm. I'm going to say, all right. Uh, $25. Anybody can tell you, can answer where I had lunch. So it's Mexico. Where Mexican. did I have lunch? It's Mexico. Bar Taco, really close, dude. Whoa. Really close. 30 seconds Bar left. Taco has multiple locations. Okay, yeah. Where's Where the Beast Burger? burger? Yep, yeah. right. all Beast The burger. restaurant with the grill outside. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that one? LS Taco, you're getting closer, 20 seconds. Velvet Taco? No, that's a good bucket call. 15 seconds, we're getting there. $25, you tell me where I had lunch. $25, Bone Garden Canteen. I don't think that's in Buckhead. You said Ten. Cheeto and Padres? Was it Cheeto and Padres? No. So, Ten ooh, cool. seconds. Nine, uh, eight. Mm, we'll give you uh, all 25. Cocina? Uh, no, good call, though. Mm, really? Five, four, Hanko Taqueria. Taxi go! They got they it! Got right it. There. Oh, CJ's oh. way! CJ's way! CJ's way! All right, direct CJ's way just won $25 courtesy of Steak. Shapiro. <laughs> What's up? Wait, be a, DM us your Venmo. If you really want to see that money someday. Right? <laughs> no, I got to pay it. I just want to see if this will work. We could have Where Steak had lunch and give away $25, right? We're still getting guesses. Kyle!
Palusco. Can we give away twenty five dollars? What? He said sure. Somebody just won twenty five dollars. Taxico in Buckhead. Good call, dude. Yeah. yeah. Good well, call. Well done. Well you guys, that's a good system. You guys ask the first two questions. Yeah. And then it's kind of wide open, and you give it like a two minute limit. Strong. Um, Yay me. All right, CJS Way. Uh, if you give me your info, steak Shapiro, uh, Instagram, right? Should you direct message me and then we'll get all the info? Yeah, yeah. Or I'll give you my... Uh, DM us or steak either way. We'll, we'll, we'll track you down. All right, what, what, what are you eating right now? Yeah, well, tell us about this. This is the Nashville hot chicken. Is get in hot? tight. Get what? in tight. You're not it's even not sweating. Hot. You're not even yeah. sweating. It's like not that. hot. Wouldn't it just be CJ's so let me... way? Not CJS way. <laughs> <laughs> is that what I said? CJS way? Well, it doesn't yeah. matter. CJ's <laughs> underscore way. CJ's way. CJ's underscore way. Uh, talk about what you're eating. Yeah, so it's not spicy. It has a kick, but it's not too much. It's so it is, 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 how are they marketing these, the burger? Like, they're not, man. They're doing all, they're getting all free meat. But is it assumed that if it's about. Mr. Beast, then it's going to be great food, or it's just a cool gimmick? Is, is he known for food? It's a cool gimmick. Totally gimmick. Total right. gimmick. So he's nobody's saying it's got to be the greatest burger ever. They're just saying it's cool that he's actually doing this. Wait, take a break, OJ. Try the Dream Burger. What's the infrastructure of releasing bite. 10 different ghost kitchens at the same time? He's Dude, he doesn't just have 10 different ghost kitchens. He has... He has 500 locations nationwide. Yeah. Like, and there's 10 in Atlanta. So who works with him on that, dude? That's No I one know. knows. Who knows? Some venture capital fund or somebody out How there who's... How it take? It, it, it felt like it happened overnight. Like, one day... They had just, to be preparing this. They, they were working on it, for sure. But one day he was just like, yeah, we have 500. That bacon does not look good. No, that man. Looks all of this looks shit. bad. This, dude, this looks that bad. bacon looks like... That's that's just shit show. Right the, everything about it is really interesting, except for yeah. the execution. <clears throat> the execution is just... There's nothing wrong with the burger. I feel a little ill right now. I just yeah, ate a Mexican, and I heard you guys were eating burgers. You know, not I didn't want to be on TV. I just wanted to eat more food. Because mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I know. I feel like a little piggy right now. That's okay, buddy. It's okay. All right. Wait. Get in. Show people the bacon, what's going on there. So, so there's like really thin, That's half bad. transparent That's bacon. Good. It's like microwave. And it's like avocado and double cheap. All right. Whatever. Do you know that OJ did a video two weeks ago that had 25,000 views? That was, what was, where were you visiting? Rock South Cuisine. Rock South, yeah. So anybody who's watching social media right now, um, I want to ask these two guys, because one of them is the star of social media, and the other is the creator of often social media, and he also does a good job on the camera. But why did that video blow up like no other video of this in 2020? Like, I knew Rock South Cuisine was going to blow up, but, like, nobody shop them or nobody no media company covered them there was a couple of so like you're talking about the restaurant was appealing why because first it's... they have a really cool vibe the food is top-notch nothing special but so so, it's, so go look up on atlanta eats right now get our views yeah. to like twenty-seven thousand. there's a video on atlanta eats of him like two weeks ago you got to scroll back well up. well the exciting thing too is we just shot them we yeah. just shot them so, so we were there filming for a segment for atlanta eats OJ showed up and they serve like upscale scope upscale scope upscale soul food. Basically. Yes. Yes. So fried chicken and what else? Catfish etouffee that has crawfish tails all over. And then what else? Has anybody been to uh, Rock South? So OJ sat there and ate it, right? Mm -hmm. And th this friggin' video blew <laughs> up. <laughs> Invest with Center Request to be in your live video. What are they? What are they? No, some, somebody's asking to join. Uh, you know, there's very few times that we'll actually yeah, accept a request. Like there, we appreciate you guys want to. Yeah, we don't know what's them. coming on the other. That's end. right. That's right. We just can't without. Right, right now, we're talking about why OJ's video exploded. <laughs> so, what's your theory? Why, why was that video so popular? I, I think uh, people love this face. <laughs> And they do uh, love that face. They do love that face. <laughs> and, uh, and everybody, I, I have so many. Sorry, I mean, yeah, that's good. That's good. I have a lot of friends from out of town who are just like, I need to meet that guy, OJ. Do <laughs> you have people say that? To yeah, you? of course, man. Of I have course. Like, uh, my daughter's bought this, but my best friend's wife is like, Can I come by Lenny's office? I go, Why? She goes, I want to meet OJ. Right? <laughs> like, like, people want to meet OJ. Yeah. So. 
it, um, it makes my job incredibly easy because all I have to do is just show up with some food and point a camera <laughs> at them, and you guys just eat it up. It's incredible. Yeah, but that was like a muck, go dog. That was like a mukbang when you just eating for twenty minutes. Yes. Yeah. 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 And you said that you think it expanded your stomach. I think after, was that the meal that you said expanded your stomach like in a different way. Um, no, it was Shake Shack. I had those the two. I had four burgers that day. And then after that, for some reason, I started eating like 150% of my normal capacity. <laughs> you didn't hear this theory? He believes that the day we shot Shake Shack, <laughs> that it expanded his stomach. I swear to you. And he's like, since that day, he has been able to eat more than he's ever been able to eat. Yeah, I, right? like, this is my third burger right and now. And you don't even feel, you're not slowed down at all. Right now, no, but I'm just trying to figure out, this is the dream burger from Mr. Beast Burger. I think, listen, delivery burgers are hard. This isn't what they do for a living, although somebody helped them, it probably does. And I would say you want to stay as basic as possible. You have multiple things happening with a lukewarm burger. You got lukewarm avocado, you got, you got uh, uh, soggy bacon. Lettuce does not travel well in this situation. <laughs> I mean, the how do you compare, super size. how do you compare that to the earlier burgers you just ate? Well, if I'm hammered, yeah, are you hammered? <laughs> and I was watching YouTube, like watching a bunch of like you Mr. Beast videos, I would order this. Yeah. Well, they're open till I want to say like eleven or twelve. So, like when I was in college, or you got like you could get food at one thirty in the morning of any like you can order anything from like a convenience. You could say like I want a pint of Pat and Jerry's. Sour cream and onion chips. I want some beef jerky. I want a 32 pack of uh, Diet Coke. I want a six pack of beer. And it could all be at your house at any time of day within like 15 minutes. Like, what company is that? Well, and now it's Amazon. I mean, really? Yeah. Within 15 minutes? In is New there York, a different it, app? It just depends on where you're at. No, but now I heard in Atlanta, like, you can have any convenience store type food delivered, like, immediately. Yeah, there's a. There's so like, you're totally stoned. Like, it used to be when we were in college, if that were the case, that once Domino's closes at 1 a.m., there are no options. And the only option up to it was, like, pizza. Now, McDonald's. anything in the world is available to you. That's Pretty true. much. I mean, the other thing that... After you know, hours. The the, af the thing I order most after hours is probably insomnia cookies. Right. Ah, uh, yes. Right. Yes, insomnia goes, cookies. Is that for people who are really stoned? You know, whatever. Well, I mean, we're not... Whatever. We're it's not late at night. You know, you want a little bite of something sweet? So my daughter is getting the baking business. Someone's like, you need to go try insomnia cookies. And we rolled by the one at Ponce. Yeah. Um, that's a strong, I mean, I'm fascinated by only things they can. They well, well, I mean, to me, it's, it's, it's a fine cookie, but it's inc what's incredible is like, I can order it and it's in my house 10 minutes that's later right. and hot. 10 minutes later. 10 minutes later and hot. Like that's, I just baked it. That's freaking crazy. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> tell us how you feel right now. Yeah, you've had how many burgers? Can we do a count? One, two, three, plus some fries. But, but it's not three. There's double burgers there. <laughs> how many patties do you have? Are they all doubles? <laughs> I had... Yes. He had six burgers with six buns, a little bit of french fry. But, dude, I mean... This is gross. I don't like this one. That last one you just had, dude, you are not going to feel good. Yeah. yeah Any yeah. thoughts from... Uh, What's the latest you've ordered food delivered, and what was your what was your state of mind? Because I am fascinated by what's available to people. My my best food delivery uh, was when I ordered Papa John's at like one thirty in the morning, and I guess like the transaction didn't go through, and I forgot about it and passed out, and then I woke up at like ten thirty, and uh, to a guy knocking on my door, and it was the Papa John's order that I drunkenly done the night before. So it was like they were my hangover. They have been. Wait, well, how did it, it went through in the morning? It went through in the morning. So, so it was always like. So I actually think that these there's somebody should do a service where you order something drunk the night before and it shows up in the morning. And it shows up in the morning. So I had a roommate named John. Won't give his last name. Teplo, <laughs> and he was he was famous. What a name. He was famous for ordering, no, he would take the like Hot Pockets or uh, uh, pizza rolls, or he'd get a bucket of fried chicken from Popeyes. He would okay. pass out drunk. He would wake up in the morning, he told you this before, and he'd have multiple, uh, so he'd have chicken wings on his chest and he'd lie in there with his shirt off, and he'd have like, he'd, chick he'd have the bones from, from what he ate, 
but he passed out halfway through the three-piece order. So he'd be like half a biscuit on his, on his tummy. There'd be like one piece of Popeye's uh, that's left, and then just the bones of the other, right? Mm -hmm. And then in the toaster oven, he would have left it running all night with like pizza rolls, those Gino's pizza rolls. Ah, we got paused. Come on. No! Come on. Hello. Oh, hey, man. Atlanta. There we go. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we got some people commenting. So, uh, he had a problem with Popeyes, and that was John. Oh. And he would, or, or Dino would leave the toaster oven on. Teppo would be, this guy would pass out with Popeyes on his chest, regular basis. Come home, 2.30, kind of blacked out drunk, but he had a three piece, and so it was just did, like, his, did his chest hair look like soul glow was, was, in the morning? It was basically? such not a pretty picture. I mean, I, don't, I mean, it wouldn't be a pretty picture now for different reasons, but back then, yeah. um, so. So this uh, gentleman wants to report the broadcast? No, sorry, man, this, this is where uh, the truth comes out. Uh, all right, I'll miss you on 682. Man, maybe there'll be some radio in my future. Well, I think Little maybe this Thursday? Morning? Well, we're on V103 every Thursday morning with the Tigger Show, which is awesome. I'm on at 9.20. Then Fridays, I'm on Star 94. They don't they have a third station? Don't they have a third one in town? I think it's called... Uh, the, I don't know. I think it's a sports station. Mm, mm, interesting. Maybe... Maybe. Wait, can I can we can we do some sports really quick, Steak? Yeah. Actually, uh, so you've been watching the Hawks, yes, and uh, Trey's out, but Bogey Bogey's Donovan, been awesome. He's been picking up the slack. Yep. And you know that we reached out to Bogey like a couple months back. Yep. And you guys might have seen Bogdan Bogdanovich's tweet where he said, "No any good ATL restaurants." He's a star Serbian forward wing for the Hawks. Yep. So he got back to us with his answers of what he's looking for, and I, I wrote a blog post, went up Monday. You can see it on atlantaeats.com slash blog, where we recommended to Bogey some spots. So watch that, because Bogey is finally becoming an Atlanta person. Because yes, yes. He's been awesome for the, for the last month. The city so I'm going to tell you this. Uh, the Hawks are going to be one of the big stories over the next four weeks. Like I know this thing. I know Atlanta, and it's like a new restaurant. Things get hot and not. The Hawks will be the hottest brand. Once the playoffs start, because we may play, they play the Heat or the Celtics in the first round, which would be friggin' awesome star or power. Or the Knicks. And if you get by there, you got Brooklyn, maybe, or Milwaukee. But, but like, the team's sexy now. Bogey's like a big deal. He's playing awesome. Um, who, who else, when they were out, they had no Collins and no train. They beat Miami. Yeah, they still got Capella, who's. Capella's doing putting up crazy numbers 20 and 20. So, uh, but Donovich has become a star. Uh, you don't know anything about what we're talking about. Do you? I have no idea. We gotta get you to a game, man. We gotta get you to a game. Uh, there's sure. rumors that we're going next Thursday night. Mm. Rumors. When, is John in town or is it two Thursdays? I think it's two Thursdays. Yeah. From now. Rumors are. Okay. All right, so, uh, why is Mr. Tanks saying, are you kidding about a Diet Coke? I don't know. Meaning oh, like you made all that, oh. yeah. <laughs> also, yeah. That's his thing. Do you, do you prefer regular Cokes, OJ? I drink anything Coke. Yeah, yeah. the regular is Fanta, But the reason, is the reason, by the way, the Braves and United are back to a full 100% attendance, which is pretty cool. That's very exciting. Hawks will go to maybe half the building by the playoffs, but that will be it. Yeah, Hawks aren't going to feel, it's not going to feel not really inside. great until next season. What up, MS Bass? Yeah, up. There. You know that's our V103 girlfriend, Miss Basketball. Oh, Miss Basketball! Yeah! She is the sexiest, out at night, coolest lady that doesn't drink. You notice? You know that? I, listen, I listen to your segments every Thursday, and I appreciate you, Miss Basketball, for tolerating this guy right here. You yeah, know. we need to get her on Atlanta Eats episode. Yes, we'd love to have you in for a bite. What's Miss Basketball's top five restaurants? That's what we need to know. But she Ooh, knows yes. all. But she knows she knows about Rock South because you mentioned Rock South, and she like right yeah. away was like, "Oh, I know Rock South." Do, do you have to transcribe those segments? Uh, no, no. There's a uh, service that does that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. No, it's all, I was like, "That's all." It's all software. Man. Steak is amazing. Wow, Miss Basketball. So this is our Atlanta Eats team. That's why we have the best digital content, best content, hundred seventy thousand Instagram followers. These guys create amazing content. Nobody in town is doing this kind of shit on a regular basis. Listen to the V103 morning show. They're relevant. So it, I was funny story about uh, V103. Uh, a few weeks ago, I was on right after uh, Raphael Warnock, our senator. And it's like, thank you, Senator Bella. Next up, 
well, where do you get the best slice of pizza in Atlanta, right? It's like, oh, well, okay, we're taking it down a notch. And then they had Killer Mike on, and they asked him, do you hear this thing? No. They asked Killer Mike about, like, hey, a lot of gun violence lately, Mr. and missed, uh, uh, Mr. Basketball, uh, sorry. Uh, Killer Mike sells Miss Basketball. Every human being should have seven different guns in their house. You need a Glock, you need a shotgun, you need a this. When they come for you, you need to be prepared. Second Amendment, I mean, it's like, okay. I just want to talk about nice patios. <laughs> like, I'm not going, like, right before I'm on. Well, this dude is like, you need to be armed. Listen, when the man comes for you, you need to have seven guns in your house. And he starts listing them. The guy's not, his name's Killer Mike. Right. You <laughs> heard him talk about gun. No, right? no, I know, I know. But that's a whole mindset. Like, yeah, I was like, yeah. uh, okay, uh, thank you. You know what, when I think I was of like, Killer, where do you get a good mimosa? When I think of Killer Mike, I think of the video where we, he went off on the juicy crap. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. What did he say about it? He just crushed it? Oh, he took his sister there for her birthday, and apparently, like, insects... fucked up the order? Oh, my God. ...were in the building, like, coming out of the ceiling, and he went off online. And to Juicy Crab's credit, they responded right away and said, oh, my God, this is unacceptable, and they fixed it. Because um, they're actually so a really good it. organization. Yeah, they're doing well. Yeah. Miss Basketball's favorite uh, places, Low Country Steak, Toast, Garden Room, House, Apartment 4B. A lot of Buckhead right there. I know these guys aren't Buckhead people, but Garden Room over at the uh, Regis, Hal's right around the corner, apartment 4B on Peach Street. You guys know Low Country Steak? Is that the new place? I don't know about Low Country Steak. Is that Steak. Candy Burris' place? I do not know about Low Country Steak. I need you to tell me about that, Miss Basket. Uh, but all, the, that's, that could be on like Atlanta's sexiest restaurants list right there with, with Hal's and 4B. Well, especially Miss Basketball's there. I mean, she is, she ain't playing. Girlfriend is not playing. She is like, She's out there. I'm just saying. So we also have a Spanish blog out right now. Yeah, yeah. So um, I'm Puerto Rican, and I put together – it's hard to tell the difference between Puerto Rican, Cuban, and Dominican food because uh, they all come from the same tradition. So I've made one big list of Atlanta's best Cuban, Puerto Rican, Dominican food all in the top ten. Y'all should check it out. Um, number one on the list is my mom's kitchen, but I couldn't put on, on that on there because she'd kill y'all. Uh, what's the best dishes that uh, – Mrs. Uh, Jorge, what is she? What's her best dishes? Mom's best dishes. My favorite. So uh, Puerto Rican food, you have fried plantains with every meal. So she makes a killer fried plantain, tostones. But my favorite thing is just a roasted pork with white rice, man. That's roasted pork, white rice. That's it. Where she get it from? Uh, Costco, the pork. Or she get it from no, Puerto Rican. She, no, like, she gets it from at you know, grocery anyway. store or whatever. It's and where she season it? How she season it? You know, she's got to eat. Havana Sandwich Shop on Buford Highway. That's Miss Basketball. Havana Shop, strong. Been there many times on Buford. Not far from a place called the Pink Pony. Is that a deli? Is that a? Uh, I'm not, just, not familiar. No. Nope. Zero familiar. Frankie's in Duluth. We just shot him for Lanny Theron this week again. Yes. Awesome steak it's a and beautiful service. Steakhouse. Low Country Steak. It's OG oh, Garvin's. G Garvin's. That's right. That's the branded G Garvin's spot. So, yes, 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 yes. We gotta check uh, that out. A few people are talking about Low Country, so we gotta go cover. Is G Garvin there these days? Because he's got a lot of shit going on. Yeah. I, mean, it's like I don't a know. Network guy. There's. Uh, CJ Sway um, is uh, checking back in. Twenty five dollars richer. Twenty five. <laughs> How do you feel, Pink Pony? Look at this. Is that off? Pink Pony is dancing, dancing, dancing. So, uh, if you go to the Pink Pony in the afternoon, this is like ten years ago. Mm -hmm. There were two or three NBA players. Uh, I'm not going to say who they were. That were there. Every single day, like Tuesday, three o'clock, you go back like a month later, like Thursday at four. It's like that, those dudes are here every friggin' day. Well, well, I hear it's a great place to like focus and get work done. Yeah, well, if you make the kind of money in the NBA, you can do whatever you want with your days. Yeah, that's true, that's right? True. That's true. Although, I don't think that the matter of cocktails was a good thing. They have great wings. Oh, lovely miss is telling me it's a strip club ping pong. Uh, but, but Miss Basketball says they have great wings. Go figure. Fork in the road. Wait, there was another one. So Josh was uh, wants to know our favorite Jamaican spot. The best thing, there's, there's one clear answer, but, Chef Rob. Chef oh, Rob Chef Rob's Crudy Cafe. Yeah. Well, uh, Tassa Roti in Marietta. That's good. Tassa Roti, is that uh, Jamaican? Uh, it's, it's actually, I think, Trinidadian. Trinidad. Oh, Trin. Yeah, man. It's, it's, there's a lot of little Fried chicken, there. mashed potatoes at the Cheetah. 
Okay. Yeah, she has got I, great I chicken fingers. I'm not even kidding. Yeah. Have you, OJ, have you been to a cheetah? No. I've never been to a strip club. No, club that's ever. a lie. Ever. Can we Are do you a, allowed to go? Can know? we go live from a strip club? Or can we do an idea? You really never. How long have you been in Atlanta? Uh, a strip club? I've never been to any kind of strip club. The closest thing I went to was Hooters <laughs> two days ago. That was the closest thing to a strip club. Listen. It's not it was my first time at Hooters. I'm going to ask you a serious question. You've been in Atlanta. You moved here from Korea? Yeah. How many years ago? I came here to go to college in 2004. Wow. Oh. Wow. We and had, I went back we and came back in 2015. So nearly two decades in Atlanta, and you haven't been to a strip club once? How is that possible? Are you allowed? Are you, is it someone against uh, religion? Or your wife doesn't want you? Or what is it? It's just the idea. What's the, <laughs> it's the idea? Normally people go like, it's just the idea. And the, smile. The, the exposure without love. Oh, yeah. It's just weird. we got to take it to Magic City, says Miss Basketball. Yes. Uh, or it's KOD. Or KOD, I don't know what KOD is. that like a African-American club we don't know about that you need to educate us? You can say that. I don't know. K-O-D, A-S-A-P. <laughs> uh, uh, so, yeah, he, he, uh, CJ's Way says you think it's dirty. No, I'll, I just... Uh, uh, Jordy says I'll break him in, let me have him for the weekend, and Pink Pony has the best things. <laughs> King of Diamonds. Thank you, CJ's Way. King of Diamonds. Is that on uh, Cheshire Bridge? No. Or uh, Piedmont, Piedmont, no right? Miss Basketball, where is that? Uh, uh, Meg, uh, who works with us, wants to go to Magic City with Miss Basketball. Yeah. All right. So uh, this is just. Uh, Can we turn that into a digital series, Meg and Miss Basketball? It's a huge City? strip club. Where is it located? Is that the one that was the old Palomino Club? Is that the one on Cheshire Bridge? It's Forest Park. Mm. Damn, I gotta get with it. You know. Uh, I'm just, I'm just not. Magic City has the best wings. Yeah, the Lua lemon peppers. That's what Danny says. Yeah, uh, it's in Forest Park. All right, here's the idea: Miss Basketball, Meg, Champagne Meg, Mr. Steak, OJ, and Danny, because she sounds like she'd appreciate that place. Um, what well, she just said, she already has the best wings, Magic City, and George. The six of us. What? The six of us Incredible. are all gonna go uh, road trip, right? Yeah. And Danny says she, she's down. The six of us are gonna go to King of Diamonds, right? Okay. <laughs> I'll just do it to you just get it off my list. Get yeah, it off the bucket list. That's right. Yeah. So this all started because there was a Mr. Beast pop-up burger which uh, the food was mediocre. The marketing, I guess, was good. Mm -hmm. I literally just came in because I have, I have a problem. I'm such a little piggy. I heard there were burgers here. I just had lunch, literally. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll just taste a burger, and now I've been here. Uh, so I don't want to take away from what you guys have going on. No, no. We, I, think, uh, I think we said all that we want to say and eaten as, all that we want to eat. As Howard would say, you said it all. Yeah. You, you said it, we've said it all. Do you want the food or the entertainment? Uh, Both. I mean, does King of Diamonds have good entertainment? I mean, good food? I know Magic City's got the wings. I know Cheetah's got, got great food in general. But uh, what's the food like at King of Diamonds? I don't know. We can do a special on the best, best food in strip club, dude. I always wanted it. I, I, I mean, honestly, will you write the will you write the article? That's the yeah, article. Miss Basketball. If what you want, seriously, if you want to write guest that write that blow blog up. for Atlanta Eats, that will blow and up. like plug all your favorite places. We, we will print it right away. Yes, and, and, um, and we could do a digital version. I don't know if you can film inside, but definitely as she walks out, absolutely, and I bring mean, the food out. Listen, Miss Basketball, that's you a piece name, of content. You name the day, and I will travel around Atlanta with you, shooting video of you enjoying your best favorite strip. Yeah. Club. Make sure the bosses are okay with that. Over there. I'm sure they will. Uh, what up, champ? Nine, six, nine, six, seven, nine. We've had a consistent flow. Of, uh, super dope, says. So I think what have we learned today? Uh, that the... Uh, Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast food is mediocre at best, but, mm -hmm. you know, but it's kind of like the strip learned. clubs. You're going... It's not just about the food. It's about other stuff. Right. We learned that OJ ate at Shake Shack a few weeks ago and expanded his stomach... <laughs> Right? <laughs> right? Since then, he's been eating at a more ferocious pace. Right? Um, we also learned he's never been to a strip club. That is true. That he moved from Korea, from here, 
back to Korea, back here, and has never been to a strip club. That is very That Ms. Basketball uh, wants to uh, be a part of this piece of content yeah. filming. Danny wants to join. So does Meg, George, myself. Um, she also said you can film inside of, uh, that would be amazing. Yeah. Strip club wins are the best, says Varichi, Varich girl. And um, Mr. <laughs> uh, and we also learned that you love Coke products. Are you, let me ask you a final question, OJ. Okay. You had six burgers, you had uh, six buns. You ate that na that nasty final burger, which was... <laughs> it was kind of gross. It was <laughs> fat. It <looked> really bad. <laughs> so, if, you, if there was a Coke and a Diet Coke, because I don't even have Diet Cokes in our fridge, if there was a Coke and a Diet Coke, which would you have reached for after the meal you just had? My question is, do we have Dr. Pepper in the back? I don't think so. If not, I'll go with Coke. So you would have got Coke if... So, you, so the Diet Coke selection has nothing to do with the caloric intake? No. No, it's just that's... That's all we you have. You love Coke products. It was it was the only one in the rate, fridge. Rate your favorite five Coke products before we go. Dr. Pepper, Mountain Dew. Is that Coke? No, that's no. Pepsi, but okay. Dr. Pepper, Mountain it's Dew. It's not sponsored by Coca-Cola. Coke, Coke. Yeah. yeah. Fanta Grape. Fanta Grape. Fanta? 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 Is that a French Grape. drink? The Fanta? And then Fanta? Fan uh, yeah. Okay. And what's the fifth? This. That Diet Coke. Coke. What about Coke Zero? Because that's my number one. Oh, Coke oh, Zero. You're off, not, off. I love Coke Zero. Number <laughs> number five is Coke. Number four is Coke. Number three is Coke. Number two so is Coke. So you're in Atlanta through and through. And number one is Coke. This guy's Coke in Atlanta. from the man who does All right, really pickles. quick. Really quick. Where did you go to high school, everybody? You went to what Atlanta high school? Uh, I went to two Atlanta high schools. I went to St. Pius the Tenth Catholic High School and Wesleyan Methodist School. St. Pius and Wesleyan. Yeah. Where did you go to high school, OJ? Hyundai. High Hyundai. school. Hyundai High School. Hyundai. Yeah. The, oh, the literal. Hyundai. <laughs> it was found by the Hyundai <laughs> oh. guy who founded Hyundai. I went and to. He, he made a. High I went school. to Volkswagen uh, oh. parochial school. Volkswagen. I went to the Volkswagen. Like literally. No, I went I'm to. Not New I went to Newton South. Uh, <laughs> so you went to Hyundai. Is, is there any signs of the Hyundai logo within the high school? Yeah. Well, have, not not the H. Does everybody get a car, or is like does the student driving classes really? No, 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 no. If you go into the like at the school, there's a huge portrait of the guy who found it. Why do we have to wrap it up, Meg? This is funny. Uh, Hyundai. That's, that is literally how you spell my high school. Gerard College Prep School in Philly. MS basketball went to Mercedes Benz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all of us said. Hey, I swear to God, Google it's, it up. It's there. Where did you go? Wait, what was the mascot for the uh, Hyundai, Hyundai High School? High school? It, was, it was a logo. It was like a star and a swoosh or something. Okay. Was there, was, uh, did, did many folks drive Hyundais because it was near the plant or whatever it is? No, that part of the neighborhood is like a super rich, it's like a bucket area. Oh, okay. So everybody... Anybody else want to tell us your high school before we say goodbye? They want to say goodbye. But um, Miss Basketball, got the, she has one of the line of the nights for yeah, sure. Yeah, no, she's got the lulls. All right. So listen to us tomorrow on uh, V. We're doing Cinco de Mayo patios. I'll be on V at 9.20 tomorrow morning. Uh, <laughs> the school mascot is the Hyundai Elantra. Elantra. <laughs> she says, as the school mascot was the Hyundai Elantra. No, it was found before Elantra. Elantra. Before the Elantra. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, what no, 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 no. Do you know what one of the first Hyundai cars is? It's called Pony. Right? Okay. Imagine that in pink. Okay. Yeah, right. On that note, perfect time to have Bye. Thanks for watching, I everybody. Love you.